What's up, Tater Tots? Um, welcome back to the Chop Shop. Uh, I'm actually not working on anything today because I just tripped and hit my foot on something. The garage is just trash. I got tools all over the floor. I got a dog who's terrified of the current storm. There's just there's stuff everywhere. I mean, my workbench is totally thrashed. Um, so, what I need to do is a full garage clean before I move on. Um, I'm going to shoot some paint on this old flathead, rebuild this carbon fuel pump here soon, get it back on its stand, and get that thing fired up here soon, hopefully. Um, after that comes some F100 work, suspension, the engine's going to be coming out soon, and in all honesty, I'm probably going to install some taillights on this thing. I'd like to get it plated and legal here eventually, but um, while my garage is trashed and we have a storm going on, I don't really have the funds to do anything that I want to do. I just wanted to do just a quick, like, kind of why I do this, or, I don't know, I guess that type of a theme of video. Um, I know a lot of people are always like, oh, it must be nice to have you know, money or whatever. I, that is definitely, definitely not the case. I have pennies wrapped up in a lot of this stuff. I just do a lot of searching, and uh, I'm just looking. Or it just happened to, you know, bring it up in conversation. And I acquire a lot of this stuff for practically nothing. And it costs practically nothing to maintain. So I just want to sit down and do like a, a why I do this. And kind of try and inspire some people. Because that's what this is about. Is, is teaching you some, some stuff. So you're not afraid to go spend a hundred or two hundred dollars. A couple hundred bucks. Maybe even a thousand dollars. On some old project that doesn't run. Or the suspension is messed up. You can fix that. So... I'm gonna have a little sit down chit chat and I'm just gonna freestyle it so it's probably gonna suck, but that's what we're doing today. What's up, Shammy's here? Our friend, my sponsor, Bash Auto Care. Um, if you use the code EPPY, E P P Y, at their website, vbashautocare.com, you get 15% off your order. Um, I have a video coming up soon of this stuff. Um, I'm sure you can probably hear it, like I just showed you, it's raining right now, so. And that's pretty much been the situation, so I've not had the opportunity to really play with this stuff, but check it out. Use that code EPPY -E -P -P to get you a discount. Yeah. All right, so. It's kind of shocking I haven't necessarily had this conversation yet, I guess. Um, the reason that I originally like started this was to show people like, whenever someone sees me in one of the old vehicles we have, you know, rather run one of the wife's Lightning, my 78 F100, 57 Willys, it instantly fires up conversation amongst all ages. I mean, they're old and oddball things. They're, they get attention like you wouldn't believe. And everyone always says, that's so cool that you know how to do that. That's such a hard or such a skillful thing to do. And... Not necessarily. I mean, look, I, the, the wheelies, I keep pointing at it like you can see it. The wheelies hadn't ran in five years, I was told. And the gentleman that I received it from, or traded for it, didn't know why. Um, he had played with the distributor a little bit. Dang. But uh, he couldn't get the thing to fire up. As I showed you in the videos, it was pretty much just basic maintenance. I put the distributor back together, I put new points in it. Uh, I replaced some wire ends, and I set the points. I showed you how to do that. There's a million videos showing you how to set points. Uh, you can also just Google, I mean, and just read about it. Um, uh, it just seems like everyone is so in intimidated about working on vehicles in general. Uh, more particular, it seems like old stuff. Uh, again, as you can see in my videos, the old stuff can be a lot of times there's, there's, there's some odd stuff you need to know, but that that's unique to every engine there is. Um, but there are a lot of oddball tips and tricks you need to know about older engines, like obviously points and condensers and stuff. Uh, modern ignitions, the distributors aren't set up like that. So there's a lot of oddball little differences. And again, that's, that's why I'm making the video to show people that not only share that knowledge with them, but show them that it's not hard. A lot of this stuff is insanely cheap. Um, a lot of people think I have a lot of money wrapped up in our vehicles, and I don't. Uh, I got my F100 for very cheap, 
and I did a dramatic change on that thing from the day that I got it, again, for pennies. You know, I don't have any money wrapped up in that truck at all, and I love that thing. It's kind of, I mean, it, it gets all the attention in the world. Uh, it's not what it's about, obviously. I mean, it's, it's a cool thing about being a car or a vehicle person in general, is you, you get that extra attention. Um, sometimes it's negative, sometimes positive, but especially classic stuff. And if you ever watch my podcast, you know that I get paranoid and have to make sure that I'm recording. Um, but especially the the old stuff really gets the attention of people, and, and like I said, just it's instantly like the next comment question I get is, you know, that's really cool that you know how to do that. I wish I did, or you know, I wish I had the money to do that. Uh, you do have the money to do this. I mean, I rebuilt that distributor for, I don't know, 15 bucks in the Willys. Um, I bought that flathead, and I can just round about, you know, some prices here. I got that flathead with its stand, with, with the cradle and the electronics and everything in that for 150 bucks. Uh, I know this thing turns over, the starter works, um, the carburetor's fine, and it needs rebuilt, but I'm going to rebuild the water pump, the carburetor, and either replace or rebuild that fuel pump in that thing, shoot some nice paint on it, and I think I'm probably going to have another 100 bucks in total wrapped up in the things I want to do to that engine. So 250 bucks total, and I think once I get it fired up and cleaned up real nice, um, I think I... I think I'll easily get 500 bucks out of it. So I'll double my money. And that's how I ended up with the Willys. You know, I got the, the Econoline that I had for next to nothing. It came with an extra engine. I just swapped that extra engine into it. I drove it once and I traded it for something, in my opinion, way cooler. Well, maybe not cooler, but it's very different. So unique, super cool, you know, an old Willys military Jeep. Um, and it was a significant upgrade in value from that. And that's what I intend to do with the wheelies and this is I'm just going to keep trading upwards. Um, when I started doing this, I started off with, what, I think, a, a $700 S10. That's what I sold the S10 for. And I basically broke even on it, but it gave me $700 at that moment to move forward. And then you acquire the Econoline to do that stuff. And then I'm just slowly repairing stuff for pennies. Again, to make the, the flathead run, I'm going to have maybe a hundred bucks in it. I'm going to go through and replace wire ends and just do some, you know, some shrink wrap on them or the little, the little shrinkable plastic tubes. I can't think of what the heck they're called right now. But uh, I'm just going to replace the bad sections of wires, the bad wire ends or whole, you know, wires in general if I have to. But you can go to Harbor Freight and get that stuff for, again, next to nothing. Spark plugs and stuff like that, next to nothing. There are cars, trucks, import, domestic, whatever you're into, sitting at everywhere for next to nothing. Uh, I hate to keep repeating at it, but that's kind of what it is. Um, a lot of times there's not even for sale signs on them. Just sometimes just stop and ask. Uh, that's that's how I ended up with, uh, uh, Jesus, what the hell did I end up? Well, I, I didn't end up buying it, but I stopped. I was going to buy another F100. But I just kind of, I knew that it was there, and I drove by a couple times, and it just so happened. I saw the owner there. I swung by, he shot me a price on it. It wasn't a for sale sign. He was like, this money takes it home. It'll be yours, title in hand. Um, but you could acquire super cool stuff, whether it's older or new, if it's just sitting there, sometimes it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, and repairing stuff isn't always hard. And again, being a car guy is beneficial because you know like, some key components or key questions to ask. Uh, things to look at, you know, to make sure that you're not buying, you know, a vehicle with a junk engine unless your intentions are to do so, but, you know, I guess the reason I made this video was to inspire you to go take that adventure. There's probably a cool vehicle laying in your neighborhood, in a field, or on some back road cruises that you take. Stop and ask. I mean, I guarantee there's so many people, oh man, I wish I could buy that thing. It's probably for sale and it probably just needs some little minor stuff like this to get it back on the road. I mean, brakes are easy. Um, I don't think I've showed you that, but I'm gonna be here soon because I gotta do just struts and brakes on the front end of my wife's FX4 F-150. So we're gonna be working on some a little bit newer stuff. But uh, brakes and suspension stuff is pretty easy. Basic tune-up stuff is easy. 
And I mean, if you want to get brave, a lot of this older stuff is still super simple. I mean, it's all standard sockets. Uh, a lot of it is actually covered in grease and oil enough to where it's not locked up. I mean, I don't think I'm going to have any issue pulling the engine apart in the F100. I guarantee you I can pull this 2.3 liter that's in the wheelies apart just like that. I'm also confident that wheelie, or not the wheelies, this flathead go double engine. If I wanted to, I'm confident I could pull that apart. And they're simple. I mean, if you can just, if you have a minor grasp on just things rotating and internal combustion, if you understand that ever so slightly, with the help of YouTube and a little bit of reading and some basic measuring and hand tools, you can bring that cool car that you want on the side of the road back to life. You can make that your own. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be the most intelligent person in the world. By no means am I that person. But look at the cool stuff that I bring back to life. Look at the oddball stuff that I fabricate. I mean, I just, and granted, yeah, I'm kind of a busybody, but you can do this. That's what this is about. I mean, shut this off right now and go ask that person who owns that hot rod on the side of the road that you've not seen move in five years. Uh, that truck, same thing, broke down truck on the side of the road. Or there's a the jacked up truck, whatever, stop and ask about it. Everything's for sale. It's just a matter of how much. Um, but really, I guess that's all I got for you, is I just wanted to inspire you to actually go do something. I mean, it's not hard, it's really cool, it's a learning experience, and I cannot explain to you the, the experience, the gratification, and the freedom, the sensation you get. Like, when I go drive the Willys and the F100, and even the Lightning with it, it's still being, you know, 94, it's, it's newer, but there's a sense of freedom and accomplishment and in the wheelies, it's it's it's, it's topless, no doors. I mean, it's it's damn near a motorcycle. It's just a four-wheeled motorcycle. I mean, there's the amount of freedom and that experience is so cool. And it, people will just stare at you. I mean, just think of how you look whenever you see a, a vehicle that you think is badass. I mean, just the the look. You're like, oh, look at that. For not a lot of money and not a lot of knowledge or experience. You can be that person, so go do it. Get out there, build something cool, buy something cool, make it cooler, sell it, get something even cooler than that, and just continue that ladder until you've got what you actually want with the, your acquired skills through, through the process. Go do it. And that's it. Uh, I hope that inspires you as I sat here and drank my beer to go buy something cool, build something cool, go do cool shit. Speaking of cool shit, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, do some sharing, leave some comments and questions. That's it. No, it's not. No, it's not. Bam! New Epi's Chop Chop shirts are available. Hit me up in the comments on the Instagram. It's Epi's Chop 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 Chop. You know that. Um, that's, that is genuinely it this time, so deuces.